Good morning and welcome. This is Jilly Cube. I'm here on the sunny coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm going to be dipping this large 50 by 55 canvas. And you see that sheet that I just showed you? It's a corrugated acrylic sheet. So I have had this a while. I'm not even sure what I bought it for, but it's got these like little corrugations on it. And I thought, I wonder if that will create a different effect on a canvas if I dipped on it. I have marked out my canvas so as not to sort of fill the whole sheet with paint uh, unnecessary. So it was just marking out where my canvas will be dipped on it. So what I'm going to do first of all is paint this really yucky burnt umber. It doesn't look very nice but Trust me with the colours that I have planned for it, it hopefully uh, will look gorgeous because I'm going to go real uh, autumn-y, copper, orangey, uh, autumn-y themed. So we'll give this canvas a quick light coat. Okie doke, all a light coated. I will now move that off to the side and focus on um, what I'm gonna do on this uh, acrylic sheet. For some reason, I, I instead of my original plan, I decided to get my wooden butterfly cut out and use that as a marker. It's a wooden butterfly cut out to use it as a marker of, and I thought well maybe I just put paint in the butterfly area I wonder if a dip will when lifted off the uh, corrugated sheet it will only you know it will look like a butterfly that was my particular view in this case at this particular time in, uh, moment in time so we'll just see how that goes hey So here I go, just merrily loading up that area of the butterfly and I'm kind of very sceptical of thinking, oh my goodness. But, you know, it, it's okay. You try these things or I can try these things so you don't make the same mistakes. But I certainly love the autumn colours that I'm using.
Yeah, it was just a crazy idea I had of doing those flickers of paint on the outside. And now I'm, because I thought, well, I've got the brown base, so I will now place the canvas over and um, gently um, press it all out and let the magic appear, so she hopes. This is always such an exciting time for me. I just love it, love it, love it. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at, you can see so much in this painting. I am so excited. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I can see a raven head right there in the middle at the top. Um, yeah, right there in the middle of the canvas. And the actual um, corrugation of the yellow acrylic sheet, if you look down in the bottom left hand area where you see the burnt umber, it's got like a brickwork effect on it. It looks like it's a wall. It certainly did not absolutely turn out anything like the butterfly shape, but with those negative space, around the outside i was thrilled to bits with it so i turned it around to face me which way i think that i'd like to be working on it and then continued on it it looks like a, a potato doesn't it but it's just a deflated balloon and then i'm keeping the balloon lengthways as you see and it gives a totally different effect really does look like fallen leaves so i just begin to play and work with it um you know as my heart desires and the same when you guys do your own you do it you know your rules your way so i am totally in love with this i know it doesn't look like much but in actual real life it is so interesting it has got so much to see in it I will try and find um, the bits that I want to show you that it's got some like, uh, well, it's like looks like coral. Um, I think in that uh, sort of the top of the canvas in the left hand corner again, sort of the yellow orange together has run like, like uh, fractured, like coral. It looks beautiful. I'm really happy with it. So what do you guys wow. think? This is super, super cool. That corrugated sheet has added some real texture effects. Oh, look, it just looks like a winter garden to me, fallen leaves. And it almost looks like a brick wall behind it. Like as the, um, the background to this winter foliage. It is stunning, I think. I am super happy with it. Even just those uh, egg-shaped balloon kisses, they just add something to it. Look at this, looks like really that corrugated sheet gives a whole different look. That's quite surprising, because look at that, how I believe that's all results of the corrugated sheet look and look at some of the painters you know it painted itself it's <laughs> painted itself a piece of art couldn't have even painted that in myself as intricate as what it's come out oh, i like the pieces where it's definitely where it's corrugated oh, look at these just Looks like a whole scene of a winter ground, like a autumn foliage, the leaves on the ground. But I'm super happy with that. So what do you think? Um, acrylic dipping on a corrugated sheet. So I'll 
definitely explore that further and try some different colours, but I just can't believe the different effects in it. It is really, I think it's phenomenal. And remember my art, my rules, my way. You don't have to listen to naysayers or people criticizing your art if you're not trying to sell it to them. Um, and you're doing it for your own pleasure. And then if somebody wants to buy it, they want to buy it for, for what it is, don't they? So my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I had super fun with this one. I am so surprised how some of the effects come out in it. And another little um, new tool is the corrugated sheet, which uh, I'm not sure whether I'll leave the paint on it or clean off underneath. I'm not sure yet, but please take care and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.